Yeah, hi there. These comments are for, um, I'm going to just use your initials for uh, privacy purposes, uh, AA, and you completed an integrated speaking practice test at my website, and you're also one of my students in the English language program at California State University, San Bernardino. So uh, let's take a look at what you said. According to the article and the talk, Nuclear energy, whether or not they use it for energy or to produce weapons, guard uranium. I'm going to say that's not really the topics of both the reading passage and the lecture. I would start out something like this. I would say this. The reading passage discusses the risks of nuclear energy and the listening passage gives an example of one of those risks. That's going to more clearly frame the main point of the reading and the listening passage. Must be monitored by the International Atomic Energy Agency. Nuclear energy has a high risk on people's life. Specifically, when the World Health Organization found that the fallout from the explosion was... Now, it's, it's, there's trouble here. I can't tell here... You're kind of mixing up the information. It's not clear when you're talking about the main and the most important points from the reading passage. It's not clear when you're talking about the main and the most important points from the listening passage. So I'm getting a little bit confused. Effectively far-reaching for a time radiation levels that could kill, injure, or cause a lot of diseases like cancer. Let's go back to the beginning one more time. According to the article and the talk, nuclear energy, whether or not they use it for energy or to produce weapons, guard uranium, must be monitored by the International Atomic Energy Agency. You're having a lot of language use problems. You're not using the appropriate grammar or the appropriate vocabulary to explain this information. Nuclear energy has a high risk on people's life. Specific. Now, when you get to this point at about 22 seconds, it looks like you're making a transition from the reading to the listening passage. So you have a short pause. So in addition, the listening passage gives an example to illustrate one of the dangers. And then talk about the listening passage, right? When the World Health Organization found that the fallout from the explosion was incredibly far-reaching for a time radiation levels that could kill, injure, or cause a lot of diseases like cancer. Okay, so on this one, let's take a look at the rubrics. It's, I think you're just simply, you're able to somewhat discuss the information, I think, from the reading and the listening, but you're not... You're making what I call vague, unclear connections between these two sources. If you want to be very clear on how you're making these connections, you'll start it off something like this. Like I said a minute ago, you'll say the reading passage discusses the dangers of nuclear energy, and the listening passage gives an example one of those dangers. Then you'll say, like, first of all, according to the reading passage, then you give some explanation of that. Then you say, second of all, according to the listening passage, uh, there are some risks associated with this, and it's demonstrated through the Chernobyl accident in Russia. So you're just, at this point, you're not, it looks like this particular practice test was over your head. It means that you couldn't understand it, you couldn't use the grammar and the vocabulary to explain it, and you left out a lot of important points. So that will cause you to score lower uh, on this one. Okay, so here, uh, I'm going to put you at about 1.83 out of 4, uh, 14 points out of 30 on this particular practice test. One of the things that you can do here to improve, I think, is go to my speaking lesson number 7. That will give you some good tips on how you can better organize your speaking responses and also your writing practice test for that matter. So that would also help prepare you for the midterm exam. Uh, also, uh, I'd, I'd like to have you take a look at reading lesson number one, listening lesson number one, both of which 
we'll give you some good tips on how to take notes and organize things according to reading and listening passages. Uh, the other thing is a more serious issue. You just don't have the vocabulary and the grammar to explain this information. So that means you should probably, beginning with vocabulary, start with my vocabulary lesson three, learn those words. Then go to vocabulary lesson four, then lesson five and lesson six. Now, of course, you can't learn all this in one week or even two weeks, but maybe over the next month or so, you can definitely start improving your vocabulary, and that'll make it easier for you to summarize and to paraphrase other people's ideas. So those are some suggestions of some things that you can do right now. So your score, as I said, is 1.83 out of 4, 14 points out of 30. Now, if you look into the syllabus, a 1.83 is going to put you at 65% on this particular assignment. All right? Okay, thank you.